Hello, and welcome to the Thermodynamics video on demonstration techniques. The purpose of this video is to illustrate the proper method of demonstrating a thermodynamics handheld plasma cutting system. The most important part of your demonstration is to quantify the needs of your customer. Ask questions. Understanding the needs of your customer will save you both time. Opening questions should be Number one. What type of metal are you typically working with? Number two. What's the thickest material you plan to cut? Number three. How often do you expect to cut this material? Number four. Will the torch be used for production or maintenance work? To help answer question number four, explain the differences between production cutting and maintenance cutting. As a rule of thumb, systems with a cut capacity of greater than 3 eighths of an inch or 10 millimeters are often used for maintenance and low-end production applications. Plasma cutters used for maintenance purposes can be operated closer to their cut capacity than machines used for production work. A general rule for production applications is for the machine capacity to be two to three times the genuine cut rating. Therefore, production customers will use a Cutmaster 51, for example, for cutting mild steel of a quarter inch or 6.4 millimeter thickness. Customers performing maintenance tasks can cut one half inch or 12 millimeter material and return a quality cut with sever cuts above one half inch or 12 millimeters in most instances. Piercing capacity is normally 50% of the maximum cut capacity. Identify your customer's critical requirement and make that the focus of your demonstration. Typical critical requirements are speed. Use a drag cutting technique tip on the work for cutting at greater than 40 amps with a non-metallic straight edge. Be certain the machine capacity exceeds the metal thickness by 50 to 60 percent. A standoff guide can be used for cutting above 40 amps as well as the drag shield cap for some heavier applications. Reduced Distortion Use drag cutting with or without a straight edge up to 40 amps. This will produce the narrowest kerf and minimize heat input. Other cutting processes may cause thin materials to warp badly. Quality Fast clean cuts are obtained on most all metals as a result of user-friendly arc characteristics. Minor variations in standoff and cutting speed do not affect the cut results as often experienced with other plasma systems. Simplicity. The One Torch is very reliable. It is simple to operate and maintain, having self-aligning consumable parts. Generally, only one type of torch parts are installed. Often, a single air pressure setting is used and the output current is set to maximum. This system is truly simple to operate. Reduced Cost Operating costs of an air plasma cutting system is typically lower than operating an oxy fuel system on mild steel up to 5 eighths of an inch or 16 millimeters. There are no gases to purchase or cylinders to rent. Mechanical cutting methods of non-ferrous materials most always exceed the cost of plasma cutting. Select the system after reviewing the application. Follow all standard safety procedures. Use proper eye and hand protection as well as protective clothing. Make certain that the torch is properly assembled with new parts. Your demonstration may fail if old, worn parts, left in the torch from a previous demonstration, are at the end of their usefulness. Use a sturdy table or bench, waist high or higher, for your demonstration. Steady your body by leaning against the table surface. Use a 5 to 10 degree leading torch angle. 
This will minimize dross. Maintain a smooth travel speed with the Plasma Ock Trail following at a 5 to 10 degree angle. Always pull the torch towards you rather than pushing it away from you, using your shoulder for movement rather than your elbow. Cut a quick straight line. Use a non-metallic straight edge for best results. Drag cutting using a straight edge is excellent for demonstrating the speed capacity of plasma cutting, especially for materials up to 1 8 or 3 mm thickness. Your demonstration should include piercing and cutting an inside diameter circle using a non-metallic template. Torch standoff should be 1 8 of an inch to 3 8 of an inch or 3 to 10 millimeters above the cutting surface, depending on the size of the system. Include a bevel cut as part of your demonstration using 1 quarter inch or 6 millimeter mild steel. Use the circle cutting guide kit to cut a large circle or radius. Use a thinner gauge sheet metal for this demonstration. Cut expanded metal to demonstrate systems with autopilot restart. As mentioned previously, be sure to have all new parts installed in your torch and confirm that it is working properly. Take some time to practice the various cutting techniques so that you are comfortable and adept at performing them. The travel speed, torch angle, standoff distance and thickness of the material will all play a role in the quality of your demonstration cuts. For demonstrations using the circle cutting kit, Assemble and prepare the tool beforehand. Be certain that the correct sleeve is in place for the torch you are using. By following these simple instructions, and with a few hours of practice, you will be regularly performing expert plasma cuts for your customers. Thermodynamics plasma cutting systems are so easy to use they will practically sell themselves.